What if sports medicine performance diagnostics could be completed without minimally invasive methods? The possibility may be closer than previously thought, and it's because of an accidental discovery. Using a high-resolution infrared thermal imaging camera, researchers were able to visualize interesting features on runners' thighs. What we were expecting was that we see our athletes glowing on the treadmill, but it was quite the opposite. So what we um, discovered was that the surface radiation temperature decreased initially when the individual performed the exercise. And on the other hand, during the exercise, during the running exercise, we saw an increasing temperature pattern over the whole body. And this temperature pattern is quite similar to our blood vessels. The next step in the BMWI funded project is to find out what these findings actually mean physiologically. We assume that this decrease of the surface radiation temperature is closely related or shows the stress response of the human body to exercise. So the temperature pattern is kind of an indicator for this increasing thermoregulation processes in the body. But the most spectacular thing is the body has to do both at the same time during the exercise. So what we assume is that the body is kind of in a competitive situation here where he has to uh, fine-tune in a physiological way and this um, temperature and the changes of the temperature during exercise can be related to different physiological adaptations in the body. The researchers can thus use the camera to record the surface temperature in the skin and various temperature patterns. Now they want to find out whether this can also be measured and quantified. To do this, they need an automated analysis, which computer vision will help with. The automatic data analysis is based on computer vision. This is a field in computer science to distinguish or to extract information out of images automatically. And beside the classical algorithms, we develop new algorithms based on artificial neural networks, a part of machine learning. The parameters are not predefined and handwritten. So we show them examples of images and of output. And then the optimizing algorithm can uh, adapt the weights or the parameters of the algorithm itself so that it changes over time. Barlow Hillen sees the possible field of application for the measurement. The first intention is to have a supplemental tool, which is contact-free, mobile, non-invasive, to see additional um, physiological adaptations of our individuals on a treadmill or during exercise. So, for example, can we quantify based on the camera how high is the internal load or how high is the external load or is it related to our classical parameters? And what we also can see is that we have this temperature pattern on the right on the left side and if there are abnormalities or differences, maybe we can show a local fatigue or we also can um, show muscular disbalances. The second advantage of the application of thermal imaging during cardiopulmonary exercise testing um, is when we find out in our big data analysis now that there is a high relation to our classical physiological parameters and we can measure it with this non-invasive measurement system, then we maybe can get rid of methods or reduce the methods that are more with contact to the individual or more invasive. The third advantage, which is, which is pretty promising for me, is that when we think about the temperature pattern and we think, okay, the temperature pattern is very distinct in athletes. Maybe this pattern is not that distinct or appears later on in patients with internal diseases. Maybe we have a diagnostic tool to see, okay, this person has a several degree of uh, peripheral cardiovascular disease. And when you think about that, maybe this is the fourth advantage. Um, when we think about an interventional effect of physical exercise interventions, we can see and we can quantify the pattern before the intervention and afterwards and can see if there is a change.